All right, welcome everyone. I'm going to take a look at how we can create eight directional movement in Godot 4. Uh, currently, we're using Godot 4.4, which is in dev mode right now on the bottom right. But don't worry, it should be pretty much the same amongst all Godot 4s. All right, now to get started, we're going to add a character. And we're going to do that by adding a character body. Now, there's a few other things we usually add to this, namely a collision shape and usually a sprite. In this case, we can just add a simple sprite icon or our icon, the Godot icon, and we'll reset its position to 0, 0 as a child of the character. Uh, here for the collision, we will give this a collision box of a square, and we can simply give it the square like so. And we'll move this player all the way to the middle. And what we'll do is we'll add a script to this guy. We will go to the scenes. Or we can put this in a different folder and go to scripts, name this player, hit save and create. And now here we have the extend character body, but we're going to want to add a few things. The first thing we're going to add is our physics process. Now here, I'm just going to pop out my code so you can see it a bit clearer. What we want to do here is we want to create our variable input vector. Now this is a vector that we're going to create. It's a variable that is going to hold essentially a vector two, and we're gonna change this based on our input. Now, by default, we're gonna reset this to zero every time. Every uh, time this physics process function is called, it's gonna get reset to zero, uh, because if I'm not clicking anything, I want it to reset to zero. Now we need to, what we need to do is actually change this input vector based on what I'm doing. Now, the way we can do this is we can change the dot x, which is the x position of our vector, Make it equal to input dot get action strength. And we can say UI right. And this will take our current UI right, whether or not I'm actually clicking. So if I am clicking on my right key, my right arrow key, this will return one. If I'm not clicking it, it will return zero. Now, I, you can imagine if I subtract the UI left, this might give us what we need. The reason is because if I'm clicking left and not right, well, this will be zero and this will be one, resulting in negative one. If we are clicking on the right hand side and I get one on this side and I'm not clicking on the left, then that will result in one minus zero, which is one, which is perfect for us because what we need is a positive number or a negative number for the x value. Now, what we can do is duplicate this, but do this for the y value. And then instead of UI right, I want you to guess. We're going to actually do UI down. And then here, we're going to do UI up. And the reason is because the UI down and UI up are actually reversed inside of Godot. So you can see here that the uh, positive is on the downside and negative is on the upside. So it might seem a little weird, but it is essentially reversed. Now what we can do is we can set the velocity equal to input vector and then simply move and slide. Now here, we can actually add a little bit and just normalize this number because sometimes this number might not be consistent. So we'll use the normalize function to make sure it is. We'll hit play. And you can see it is moving, but it's moving very slowly. So what we can do here is multiply this by maybe 300. Try that again. And there we go, we have a directional movement. We can move left, right, up, down. And then if I click left, right, you can see, or left down, you can see I move at an angle. And now we have a directional movement. I hope this helped you guys, and I will see you all in the future.